This is what Damian Lillard is willing to do to join the Miami Heat. Wait, wait a minute. Is, isn't that a crime? <laughs> Uh, either way, I better put that down. I ain't trying to start playing with fire and end up walking out of here like Jason Pierre-Paul doing this the whole time. <laughs> Anyways, this report came out today from a man named Mark Medina of Sports Not. Now, how credible is he? I do not know. Brother, this guy okay. Anyways, the article is headlined, Source, Portland Trailblazer star Damian Lillard will not report unless traded to the Miami Heat. Mark Medina details, he just wouldn't go. A person familiar with Lillard's thinking told Sports Not, he just wouldn't report. Now, in my last couple videos, I kept mentioning this article from Stop 20 the video right now. Go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the like button. All that good stuff really, really helps me out a lot, and I greatly appreciate it. Let's get back into it. It was from a reporter named Henry Abbott, and he basically just said Lillard would forgo, uh, forgo paychecks uh, to uh, to get to his preferred destination. Now, y'all could pause and read that here. I've talked about it like three times already, right? Because I get all these Portland fans saying Lillard is not that type of guy, which I agree. I, I never would have thought Lillard would be, the, would be the type of guy to sit out, but that's what these reports are saying. Now, Ben Simmons missed $360,000 a game during his holdout. They said it was about a total of $19 million. And imagine having that much money. I'm sorry, just seeing those numbers and seeing dudes willingly give up that much money just to get where they want to go, uh, it's crazy. What, what a life these guys have. But anyways, Dane makes a similar amount of money per year as, as uh, Ben Simmons did. So you can assume that Dame is probably going to miss 360000 a game or a day. I'm not sure the exact details. But point is, that is a lot of money he'd be he'd let sit on the table uh, if a holdout is necessary. So going on in the same report, Medina also says, I don't think the other team would trade for him knowing that he doesn't want to be there. The person familiar with Lillard Snake told Sports Night, he is a first ballot Hall of Famer, so they should respect his wishes. Again, this is something I've been saying, not so much that they owe him one, like other teams don't owe him one because he's a first battle Hall of Famer. It's just too risky. You're gonna have, a, have to give up a lot of assets to get him and it's not worth mortgaging your entire future just for you to get a guy and then you risk him sitting out. And it's not like Miami's package is trash. I know everyone's saying, oh, it's, it's nothing. Tyler Hero, Jovic, Hame Hakez, and three first, the expiring contract of Lowry, that's not nothing. That's a solid package. So for Portland to actually accept another package, it has to be substantially better than that. And that would just be too risky for another team uh, since they know Dame doesn't want to be there. Now, as far as the whole holdout part, I've got a lot of comments, mostly from Portland fans saying, oh, Lillard's on the contract for four years. Portland has all the leverage. They can just hold on to him. You are right, technically. And I will admit, it's an interesting game of chicken. Obviously, if a holdout were to happen on Lillard's side, he's missing game checks. He's wasting his career. But on the Portland side, you got 40 to 60 million dollars because he starts out in like the 40 million range. And by the end of this deal, Lillard, Lillard will be making 62 million dollars. So let's just say Portland has 52 million dollars a year of dead money sitting on their roster of a disgruntled player sitting there pissing off their fans because their most beloved player in franchise history is getting straight up disrespected. It's an interesting game of chicken because both sides have have very obvious cons to them, right? Dame doesn't uh, want to miss money, and Portland, I'm sure, just wants to move on and get off of that, you know, that money to open up some salary cap space. It's an interesting game of chicken. If it does come to a holdout, which I don't expect, time will tell uh, who gives in first. Now, I do expect this deal to get done soon, particularly in the Las Vegas Summer League when all these guys are together. That was the report yesterday. I also had a video about that. Chris Haynes did have some more news today saying that the Nets and Pistons could be potential third teams in a Dame trade. He says, at the end of the day, if they're able to get something done where Miami gets Dame and Portland gets stuff from wherever, whether it's a few from Miami, some from Brooklyn and another team, it could also possibly be Detroit. So obviously you'd expect Tyler Hero to end up on one of those other two teams and then Portland receives whatever they think Tyler Hero is worth. Now, we know who it won't be. We know it won't be the Boston Celtics. With regards to the Dame sweepstakes, it was it was reported that they did what all teen dads should have did, uh, and they pulled out. <laughs> uh, this interaction from NBC Sports Boston details it perfectly. 
If the Celtics aren't pursuing Dame Lillard, why not? Well, because I'll tell right. you why. Why? Because he and or the team told the Celtics to go F themselves. Okay. So Boston is very clearly just trying to save face. They obviously went after Damian Lillard. He was so strong in not wanting to go there that they said they pulled back and said, oh, well, we never really wanted him anyways. And for anyone wondering why Dame doesn't want to be on the Boston Celtics, it might have something to do with this or this or this. Why do you hate Boston? Because <laughs> they're racist as fuck, that's yeah, why. Nasty. Now, just want to be clear, none of these guys are saying that all Celtics fans are racist, and racism is certainly a very prominent issue seen everywhere in our country. But regardless, those three guys are, are people that are very close with Dame, and they all just happen to share a similar sentiment about Boston. So, the last update I have for y'all today comes from Dame himself, and it's everyone's favorite a good cryptic tweet he first sends out this i'm amazed now i think that he's clearly talking about history battle or about One shot. or maybe even about okay probably not that last one but that was a very clutch shot by me and we did win that game but 750 the game did ask dame why and he responded at how people could know so much and so little at the same time. And with that, he's undoubtedly talking about Wojnowski. I'm a real boy! Is that, does that rhyme? I gotta write a bar about that, hold up. I'm about to be undoubtedly the goat like Wojnowski. I'm telling secrets and spilling beans like Kevin Malone's hot chili. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna have to write a full song to that one day because that goes kind of I do write songs if y'all don't know there's some old ones way back on this channel I want to redo them and if y'all follow the basement sports network which you should best heat uh, best heat coverage network out there uh, I wrote a lot of songs for them too but that's really all I got for this video make sure to like if you enjoyed dislike if you didn't because I can't tell you what to do and subscribe and su subscribe subscribe that's what i am i'm a scrub i can't talk subscribe because we almost at 2k i appreciate y'all for real and i'll see y'all when there's some more updates Look, pull up in the city trying to get that dead fast slice do it on my own i don't need no dead weight right? had to kill him off yeah i need a head space you know this homegrown bitch don't offend me hmm.